Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to share with you a recipe for um, mini ricotta pies. We would call them in Polish babeczki z ricotta. And uh, it's a perfect uh, dish for a party. As a starter, you serve it, it looks amazing and it tastes delicious. I hope you guys are going to give it a try. And in case you decide to do that, let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need. I'm starting with uh, adding my water, salt, flour, and yeast to my stand mixer. And I'm going to knead it with a dough hook attachment for around five minutes until the dough is uh, nice, smooth and elastic. Just like that. Okay, when it's ready, I'm just going to cover the bowl and set it aside until it doubles inside. Now also you can uh, refrigerate it at this point if you don't want to make the, the pies right away. Now we're preparing the filling, I'm going to chop my onion very finely. And then on a medium-high heat I'm putting a skillet and I'm snipping with the scissors bacon. You can also cut it on the cutting board with a knife if you prefer. I'm going to be cooking my bacon until it's almost crisp, almost ready. And then I'm adding the chopped onion and I'm cooking for another two, three minutes until the onion is going to be nice and translucent. To a mixing bowl, I'm adding ricotta cheese and then I'm adding the eggs. Seasoning it with salt and pepper and then adding a little bit of nutmeg. I'm going to stir it until it's all well combined. Now it's time to add the bacon and the onion and I'm using a slotted spoon just to get rid of any excess fat. I'm adding it to my cheese mixture and then giving it a stir again until it's all well combined. Now our filling is ready, we're going to take our muffin tin and grease it very well. And then when the dough is ready, I'm flouring my surface, transferring the dough, flattening it a little bit and rolling it really thin. Um, less than uh, half a centimeter there. And then using my biggest round cookie cutter I'm cutting circles, stretching them some more even, just like that. And then I'm dropping them into the muffin tin. And it's a little bit tricky because it shrinks, but uh, you stretch it as much as you can. And don't worry, it's going to fall down, but um, it's going to puff up nicely after. We're just making like a little shell to be able to scoop inside our filling. And I'm using here a little cookie scoop to make a nice ball of the filling. Okay, we're filling all the cups. And then this goes into the oven, preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit, for 25 minutes. But check it after 20 minutes, because when it's all puffed up and golden brown, it's ready. Hey, there you could see also with the regular muffin tin how it looked like. And that's how they look when they're ready. We're going to let them sit for around five minutes and then we need to transfer them into a cooling rack just so the bottom doesn't get soggy. Now I like to serve them warm but they are also okay cold. And that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the recipe let me give it a try i have a little one here mm. can you feel the crunch it is really delicious perfect bite for a party i'm telling you I hope you're going to give it a try. It's really worth it. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye!